Hi guys, welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's short video we're going to talk about what jigs to use for crappie fishing. So when determining what kind of jig you're going to use there's a few factors that you need to consider. Um, the first thing is how deep is the water. <clears throat> Obviously the deeper it is the heavier jig you're going to need so you can just get your bait down to the bottom. Also if you're casting and retrieving if you've got a, and it's deep water, if you have a light jig on, what's going to happen is as you retrieve, that's going to pull that jig up in the water column too fast, and you're not going to be able to stay down in the strike zone. Now that's if you're f trying to fish deep in deep water. Another factor you have to consider is wind. If there's a lot of wind, you're going to need to use a heavier jig because like when, when that wind is blowing, what it's going to do is it's going to put a bow in your line, which is going to lift up your jig. So you need to use a heavier jig so you can keep that bait down in the strike zone and maintain proper uh, control. You need to be able to feel that jig as you're reeling it in. So you're going to need to go heavier the more wind there is. Um, you also need to f uh, factor things like what kind of structure are you fishing. If you're fishing real heavy structure like a crib, you're not going to want a heavy jig because you're going to be caught in there all the time. Or if you're fishing over the top of thick weeds, you're going to need a lighter jig so you can stay up on the top. So those are kind of the things that you're going to consider when deciding what size jig to use. So the most common sizes are an eighth or a sixteenth. You can go as small as a thirty-second or even a 64. So most of the time I'm fishing a 16th ounce. If I'm fishing a little deep water, I'll go to an eighth. Rare circumstances will I go bigger. So we got an eighth ounce jig here, and this is actually a little big. I'll fish eight ounce jigs with um, live bait, but if I'm fishing with a tube, I'm usually gonna fish with the 16th ounce. And sometimes I'll even go all the way down to a 32nd ounce. And if the fish are real th finicky, I'll, I'll do something like this is a 64th ounce feather tail jig. And I'll tip that with some live bait. Um, so another thing, you want a, a jig with a, sh a short shank if possible. Because... That's going to put a smaller hole, especially if you're fishing live bait. It's going to put a smaller hole in the minnow's face. It's going to keep them on longer, and uh, you're not going to burn through as much bait. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, like for a general rule, I like to go as small as I possibly can and still be able to maintain a good feel. I want to be able to feel that jig as I'm either bouncing it off weeds or... You know, if I'm fishing deep, I, I want to be able to feel the bottom, feel myself raising up. So I'm going to go as small as pot or as light as possible. But one thing to keep in mind is crappies have big mouths. So if you're using a real small jig and you're having a hard time setting the hook or getting a good hook set, you're losing fish, you might need to go to a little bit bigger jig with a little bit bigger hook to increase your hookups. So that's kind of what I'm looking at when I'm going for a jig. Like I said, my rule of thumb is I like to go as small as I can. Um, but, you know, obviously the, the conditions are kind of going to kind of dictate what I can use. So, but, but the most common types are probably a 16th or an 8th. If you're fishing live bait, an 8th um, with jigs, probably a 16th. So I hope this video helps. If it does, hit the thumbs up or the like button. Also, if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos just like this to help you catch more and bigger fish. So, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.